Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the gradient or y intercept of a line given its equation in the form px plus qy equals r. So we've got these two equations here. We want to find the gradient of the line with this equation and we want to find the y intercept of the line with this equation. Now do you remember that the key form of the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c, where m was the gradient of the line and c was the y-intercept of the line. We've explored this in previous videos. And if we had, for example, y equals 3x plus 2, then it's very easy to see the gradient and the y-intercept because we can see, look, the number in front of the x, the coefficient of the x, as we call it, is the gradient. So the gradient would be 3. And the y-intercept is the non-x term, the constant term, as we call it. So that plus 2 would be the y-intercept, or c. The problem here is that this is not in the form y equals mx per c. So all we need to do is to just make y the subject. Because can you see in this equation, y is on its own on one side of the equation. And if we could do the same with these equations, then we can again read off the number in front of x to get the gradient and the constant term, the number without the x, as the y-intercept. So we've got 2x plus 3y equals 5. Let's rearrange it to make y the subject. We want to get this y on its own. Notice it's being multiplied by 3, and we're adding 2x to it. So we want to get rid of that plus 2x by subtracting 2x from each side. And if you're not familiar with these kind of skills, then do watch my videos on changing the subject. So if we minus 2x from the left-hand side, we get rid of the 2x, which is 3y. Subtract 2x from the right-hand side, we've got 5 minus 2x. Now we're going to still get y on its own, y has been multiplied by 3, so to get rid of the times by 3, we divide both sides by 3, and that gives us y equals, now you might be tempted to put this whole thing over 3, but then it won't quite be in this form, because this is not a fraction overall, is it? So we're going to divide each individual term by 3, so 5 divided by 3 is 5 over 3, let's not have decimals, and the minus 2x divided by 3 is minus 2 thirds x. So that minus 2, we divide by 3, we're putting it over 3. And now, it is in the form y equals mx plus c. Well, pretty much, we could write this if we wanted as y equals minus 2 thirds x. So we can put the x term first, plus 5 thirds. But you don't have to write it like this. Now, can you see that the number in front of the x, that's going to be the m. So we can see the gradient is minus 2 thirds. And the y-intercept is that constant term, the number without the x, that's 5 thirds. And it doesn't matter if we used this equation above. Even though the x term is not first like it is here, we can still read off the number in front of the x to get the gradient. So the gradient is minus 2 thirds, and this term without the x, that's the y-intercept, 5 thirds. So we wanted the gradient, so the gradient is minus 2 thirds. That's the final answer. Let's do the same with this second one. We've got... 3x minus 2y equals 6. We want to get y on its own to make y the subject, so we have in this form. Now, we don't like y being the negative term, so we're going to add 2y to both sides so it then becomes positive. So we do that. That gets rid of the minus 2y here. We get 3x equals, and then we got the 6 plus the 2y, or we could write 2y plus 6. Now, we want to get the y on its own. It's been multiplied by 2, then we're adding 6. We undo the last thing. So we subtract 6 to get rid of the plus 6. That gets rid of the plus 6 over here. So we get 2y. And now we've got 3x minus 6 here. We're almost done. We've almost got y on its own, but it's been multiplied by 2. So to get rid of that times by 2, we divide both sides by 2. And again, do not put this whole thing all over 2. Divide each individual term in the sum or the subtraction by 2. So 3x divided by 2. 3 over 2 is 3 over 2. We get 3 over 2x, and then the minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3, equals 2y divided by 2 is y. Now we've got it in the form y equals mx plus c, and we want the y-intercept. Now the y-intercept is the constant term, the plus thing or the minus thing, so the y-intercept is minus 3. And the gradient, if it asks for it, would be 3 over 2, because that's the number in front of x, and we're done.